Now we're going to look at the, the six kancha, which we didn't get to in the last three days. And what happens if you put your fingers in your nose, you have uh, lower kancha, middle kancha, and superior kancha. We looked at this. Did we look at this in the organ, or did we skip that? No. So, you know when you look at masks, in particular, people who are in the, in the earth and uh, not so technological, but more children, where it's not so much thinking about it, but feelings of the mask, and you get these lines. Whiskers. Not whiskers, right, the cat. There is somehow as the face is developing and the head is developing off of the neural press because it's a late development. It's not all the, the bones and the muscles, the fascia of the head that comes off the neural press, which is sensory. The, um, I'm going to ask you to uh, close one, listen first, because somehow I close my nose, I don't hear. Uh, if you close, and I think there's a special way to do it, I don't know the special way. Uh, you close off one nostril, and then focus on breathing with the inferior concha. And a concha means a, like a conch shell, a spiral. These openings are spiralic, so when you breathe through your nose, the air is going in and out on a spiral. And there are three on each side. And then you're going to end up in one single chamber, which is the pharynx. So uh, there's something about the lower concha and the mouth. So with your finger, kind of as you're breathing, with your mouth closed, you'll focus here. Then the middle concha, by the way, they're going backward. They're not going sideways, but this movement is somehow connected to the backward one, to the pharynx. So the middle concha relates to the ear and the superior to the eyes. So let me do it without without talking. So first, and my voice will be different, I did inferior concha, in and out, middle concha, in and out, superior concha, in and out, and then all three, in and out, knowing that your the breath is going back into the nasal pharynx, but there's something about the skin going to the perceptions of the mouth, the corners of the mouth, the ear and the eye. Can you hear the difference? Yes. You know, I'm just more open and more released. So I'm not going to talk you through it. Because, so you might do two or one or whatever. In other words, you're going to follow your own inner. But just do one side, if you would. What are we doing exactly? Breathing. Focusing. Closing one nostril so that that is already limiting. And then on the side that's open, touching, everybody do this, just touch this part like you had a kind of like a mustache, but you're coming from your nose toward the corner of your mouth. And then you breathe in and out, and then you go a little bit higher, and you're going to be drawing or your ear, but the breath isn't going to your ear, the breath is going in, but there's a, move, a movement cellularly to your ear, so the air is going straight back. And then you go a little bit higher and you head up to your eye, for the, sorry man, it's itching, to the uh, superior concha, and then all three, but meanwhile you're holding this one. And then maybe say something 
not to anybody in particular. So you just hear your voice. But you've been you've been hearing your voice. You actually don't have to do that. Then do this, and then maybe do on this side. But we'll do that in part together. So just do one side so that you can feel one side, and then we'll do the other side. You might want to close your eyes. So you're both breathing in and breathing out through the same concha. So you're breathing with your mouth closed, but when you sound, your mouth will open. And then just very gently, find the ah, the e, and the oo. So you take your hands away from your face at some point. Sing it or say it. And then go to the other side. Do the other. So you'll close off the side you just did. It'll help you focus on the side that you're breathing. touch those places, it will help your, ner your nervous system so you don't have to think about it so much. You'll have a direct transmission from your hands rather than having it all come from your head, your frontal lobe. And you may want to take glasses off if you're wearing glasses. So sounding on that side and then sounding on both sides. exploration, but this time instead of breathing, hum into each of the kanja. When you're humming, you're not making the uh, ah, e, and u, but you're shaping them, even though doesn't come out, it comes out as a hum, but shape the Side, come back to your sounding. Ah, e, and u, and then to the other side.
side alone and then both sides together.